The president's veneer of election denial cracked today when these two words jumped out. He won. A concession by tweet, building on this Friday verbal slip. Whatever happens in the future, who knows which administration it will be. I guess time will tell. Seen as progress by Arkansas Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson. Uh, it was good, actually, to see President Trump, Trump uh, tweet out that uh, he won. I think that's the start of an acknowledgement. But that was short-lived. 92 minutes elapsed, and the president blasted out this. I concede nothing. We have a long way to go. A backtrack boosted by Trump advisors. The president's not conceding anything. Far from it. What he's, what he's saying is more, I guess you know, you'd call it uh, uh, sarcastic. They also called out clashes and violence with injuries to Trump supporters and more than 20 arrests in Washington. Following a Saturday Trump rally urging the president to keep up his legal fight against the Biden victory. This morning, Joe Biden was seen leaving church in Delaware, as his incoming chief of staff said a formal transition is needed. If the president's prepared to begin to recognize that reality, that's positive. Donald Trump's Twitter feed doesn't make Joe Biden president or not president. The American people did that. President Trump spent his day at his Virginia golf course, while he claims election fraud without evidence Ohio's Republican uh, governor says it's time to move now, forward. Joe Biden is the president-elect, and that transition, for the country's sake, it's important for a normal transition to, to start through. And Kelly's with us. Kelly, Joe Biden is moving ahead with his transition plans. What's next? Well, tomorrow, Kate, the president-elect and the next vice president, Kamala Harris, will be in Wilmington together where they will lay out their economic recovery plan for the long term. While it's also expected that some of the big staff additions for inside the next White House at the executive level could come this week. Kate? Kelly O'Donnell at the White House for us. Kelly, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.